One of the biggest concerns I hear from new users is the fear of having to import files into Eagle first, which essentially creates duplicates. I get it. No one wants to clutter up the hard drive. But here's the good news. You don't have to worry about duplicates with the feature I'm about to show you in this video. Whether you're new to Eagle or just curious about what it can do, stick around because I'm going to break down how its library system works and why it's a game changer for creatives like us. The Eagle app library system. So let's clear something up right away. Eagle isn't just another file browser like Finder, Explorer, or Adobe Bridge. It's a fully featured digital asset manager that works by utilizing its own library system. In this video, we'll be focusing on how Eagle's library structure works and how it can really benefit your workflow, especially if you are worried about file duplication or how your files are managed inside of the Eagle app. Let's talk about why you don't have to worry about duplicates with Eagle first. The Eagle app has this feature called auto import, which allows you to create a folder in a preferred location. Think of this auto import folder as your personal assistant. You just drop your files into this folder and Eagle automatically moves them into your library. And the best part, the original files get deleted from the folder, which means no duplicates, no mess. It's a one-way street that keeps your system clean and allows you to add files directly to your Eagle library. The reason the Eagle team invented this feature in the first place actually comes down to the fact that you cannot override the saving context menu of your operating system. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this. As you can see, there's no way to save directly inside of Eagle, but you can save your files into your auto import folder, which will then essentially save files inside of Eagle. The auto import folder is a great idea, but it isn't completely perfect. Although files are added to your library, there's no way to add them to a specific folder by using this feature. They are just added to your uncategorized files here inside of your Eagle library. But at least you don't have to worry about any duplicates and can save files directly to your library. And who knows, perhaps we can get a system extension or something else in the future, which would allow us to select the exact folder we would like to save files into. For the time being, the auto input folder is a great feature, which essentially eliminates any duplicates that would be left when importing files into your Eagle library the usual way. Hey everyone, Valentin from the editing room here. I just noticed that saving files inside of Eagle is just one side of the story. What about opening files in Eagle? Right now, you have to use some workarounds in Windows and copy the file path to open other files quickly in its normal context menu. And when it comes to macOS and the Finder, you have to drag and drop files from the Eagle window to your Finder window to open Eagle files, which is also not ideal. Perhaps we could have that same button that does not just say save an eagle, but also open an eagle in that context menu. And I'm not sure whether this is something that is easy to implement. And uh, I guess they made the auto import folders because they found no other way to do it. But just imagine this as an option. This would make eagle even more powerful and yeah, very, very nice for new and existing users. So uh, that's my two cents here, back to the editing. But now with that out of the way, let's talk about all of the benefits of using a library system like Eagle instead of a file explorer like Adobe Bridge, for example. Eagle app library advantages. The most obvious reason to use Eagle is speed. Searching for files by name, tags, color, whatever you need is super fast. Whether you've got just a handful or thousands of images, Eagle helps you find what you're looking for in mere seconds or often than not just milliseconds. The Finder, Explorer, and even Adobe Bridge just can't keep up here from my personal experience. Searching can take anywhere from just a few seconds to minutes or even hours on very large drives. But why is Eagle so fast in comparison? Whenever you import a new file, Eagle automatically creates a metadata file that stores all the important information surrounding the imported file in its own library system. This metadata can be read by Eagle extremely fast. But this is just one of the many advantages of the Eagle library system. The Eagle app will automatically create previews for your audio files and allow you to scrub through different sound effects or music to find the right one. Hovering to preview also works for video files and you can even change the thumbnail by selecting a specific frame manually. Since the Eagle app supports a lot of different file extensions and even creates thumbnails for your camera's raw files, it could be the better choice to manage all your photos inside of an Eagle library. Previewing raw images from my camera takes a long time and sometimes isn't supported at all, even though I'm running macOS, which is generally quite fast when it comes to things like these. 
Eagle, on the other hand, is lightning fast when it comes to previewing images, thanks to the created thumbnails. On top of that thumbnail creation, the most present colors are automatically added to the metadata of each of your images for quick search by color, which is really, really helpful. And you can instantly see which camera, focal length, ISO, aperture, and shutter speed you have used. You can even use so-called smart folders inside of an Eagle library, which allows you to quickly find images based on predefined selections. This gives you a sort of secondary navigation that allows you to browse your files differently than you normally would, and is working wonderfully thanks to the Eagle library's metadata system. I like to think of the smart folders as a shortcut for your filters. Instead of having to select all of them manually, smart folders have them set up for you and you can browse through specific files with just a single click. Now, since people often talk about duplicates when it comes to the Eagle app, let's address another benefit that could actually save you a ton of storage space. The Eagle app is pretty smart when it comes to managing duplicates. If you try to import a file that's already in your Eagle library, Eagle will automatically let you know. From there, you can either reference the existing file or add another copy to your library, whatever works best for you. This is especially handy for video editors who need to keep everything organized without worrying about unlinked or missing media files. Once a file is imported into your Eagle library, its file path on your drive stays the same. And because of that, you can add tags or even add the video to multiple folders inside of your Eagle library and don't have to worry about unlinked or offline media. Just make sure to never rename the file inside of Eagle as that will break the original path to the linked file inside of your video editing software. Renaming shouldn't be necessary though as you can add notes to any of your files. And then you can either filter files that have notes or search through any of your existing notes. When it comes to videos, you can also add comments at selected timestamps, which is really useful if you're working on a video project with a team and need to communicate changes quickly. Another huge plus for video editors is that when you tag or move files around in Eagle, their physical location on your drive stays the same. That means you don't have to worry about messing up your file structure inside of your video editing software. As long as you don't move your library, you can move your files around as much as you want, tag files as often as you need, and even put the same file into multiple folders without taking any additional storage space, thanks to its referencing and deduplication features. But even if you move your entire library, you'll just need to adjust the source folder in your video editing software, and you'll be totally fine. This takes a lot of thinking away from my brain, as I can just paste any of my recorded video files and don't worry about structuring it into folders immediately. I can always come back to that and do it later without risking unlinked media. I totally love this feature. And now that Eagle 4 is finally here, they've added a bunch of tools to speed up your workflow even further. You no longer need to open Photoshop for simple tasks like removing an object from an image, for example. This is not directly related to the library system, but still a benefit as it tightly integrates into the app and makes managing your files really easy. Things like compressing images in bulk or converting them to a completely different format like WebP are game changers for web designers like me. But there's a whole lot more plugins that you'll fall in love with once you start using Eagle. And when it's finally time to export your files for clients or friends that don't use Eagle, there's no need to worry either. All the folders you have set up inside of Eagle will be exported just fine, which means you aren't locked into Eagle at all. Sharing is also possible through AirDrop or Dropbox. Please keep in mind though, that all metadata is only stored within Eagle's library and will not be exported unless you export your files using the Eagle Pack format extension. And if you haven't heard about Eagle Packs yet, they essentially allow you to share your files with other Eagle users. Eagle Packs include all your tags, notes, comments, etc., and allow you to share files with your teammates that also use Eagle. That essentially sums up all of the advantages I came up with when it comes to using the Eagle app with its unique library system. If you think there are any more advantages for this library system, then please let me and everyone else know in the comments down below. Now, although I am a huge fan of this library system, there are certainly some disadvantages to look out for as well. Eagle app library disadvantages. At the moment, you can only save libraries on one drive, which means that your overall library size will be limited by the total size of your drive. Once your library becomes too large, you'll have to create another one on a separate drive. You can copy your global tags and smart folders to other libraries, but once you make changes to tags on one library, these won't be reflected in the other one. Perhaps the Eagle team will add an option to split libraries across multiple drives in the future, but for the time being, you will be limited by the size of your drives, which could be a deal breaker for you, especially if you have a lot of files that span across multiple drives. 
Eagle is the sole reason I bought large 8TB NVMe SSD drives, which are ultra fast and allow me to use one large library for most of my work and another one for private stuff without worrying about running out of space anytime soon. Another disadvantage to keep an eye on is the fact that whenever you add additional complexity like this, it is even more crucial to keep backups in case something horrible happens. Although I had some minor issues in the past, these were all solved by the Eagle team fairly quickly. And in case you didn't know, there is a hidden menu that you can access by pressing Ctrl on Windows or Command on a Mac and clicking on the library selection here. This menu has saved me in the past when I was renaming a bunch of files and switching the drive with a teammate. For some reason, some of my files didn't show up correctly on my teammate's laptop. But this hidden menu solved the problem for both of us and I didn't see it happen in any of the recent updates. So just keep in mind to be extra cautious and create backups if your files are important for you. But of course, the Eagle library isn't the sole reason you should keep backups. This is just a reminder to be careful. And if you're looking for a full guide on how to backup your files on the cheap, check out my tutorial over here. Once again, some might say that the necessity of importing files into an Eagle library first could be a disadvantage as well. But if we consider the advantages of the library system, they do overweigh in my opinion. It is a personal choice though, of course, and I hope that this video could give you some guidance on whether Eagle is the right app for you or not. Now, if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you're interested. If you want to save some money on the Eagle app, make sure to sign up for my newsletter and I'll send you a discount code. If you buy the app using my link, I will earn a small commission, which helps my family and allows me to keep creating videos like these. And if you're looking to learn even more about the eLab, you should check out my full playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.